Well, good day and welcome to day 42 of our Lenten series, Eyes on Jesus. Today, Jesus is greater than anything. And this is found in Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 to 11. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Wow, what a verse. So his name is above every name. It is at his name that every knee should bow not just of those on earth or those under the earth, meaning those that have died, but also those in heaven. So at every level, at the name of Jesus, every knee would bow, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Whoa! And this brings glory to God the Father. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19 onwards we see this, what is the exceeding greatness of his, that is the Father's, power toward us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. And here we go. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all wow (laughs) you know where do you start with that i would just suggest that you read it again later or rewind and listen to it again because it is incredible And then in Colossians chapter 1 verse 18, it says of Jesus, And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence, the first place. Friend, may I suggest that this isn't just theoretical. This isn't just about doctrine or theology. This is to be practical in our lives. We see this in the life of John the Baptist. In John chapter 3, he says, he must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. John says, he must increase, but I must decrease. Friend, are we decreasing in our love of self and increasing in our love of Christ? Have we put Christ in first place in our lives. Jesus put it this way, Matthew 16, 24. He says, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. 
for whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Friend, are we ready to lay down our life, the things we desire, the pattern of life we've been living, and to put Christ in first place, even if it means taking up our cross and following him. In verse 26 it says, For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? And finally in Colossians 3, 17, And whatever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Friend, truly, Jesus is greater than anything. So keep your eyes on Jesus. May the Lord bless you. I look forward to sharing with you again tomorrow.